Uh, that's a good question. That's a good question. I think of Zuko in his, uh, I classify him as hair stages, you know? <laughs> it's like the ponytail hair. <laughs> which ponytail is the, phase. The, the ponytail phase. There's like the awkward. The long, unkempt phase. Yeah, the, the awkward hair phase is a strange phase. I, I don't like that hair. There's, and there's like the, the shaggy emo. <laughs> I'm like, that's like my favorite phase, like the emo. About 80% of all of his character. Yeah, when his hair is kind of growing back out, he's kind of like more, you know, when he first, I like, I mean, I, the part of me, the positive part of me likes it just when he ends up, hang, you know, connecting with the gang, and now they're, you know, he's teaching Aang how to fire men, and they're going to be a crew to go save the world. I like that part of it, for sure. But there's fun parts in, in every aspect. I mean, early on on Ponytail Zuko, I just thought he was just, we're just a bad guy with a weird hairdo. <laughs> super strange. Um, but uh, but yeah, I think, I mean, the, 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 the most fun parts are like the end, when we're all like, all in the same room together, we're all on the same team. Otherwise, just, was just there was just months of me, you know, just chasing the Avatar. <laughs> Although I love, I mean, I love all the scenes with Uncle Iroh, and the actor who played my uncle, uh, Marco, was a very special guy to me, so all that time was real special. I love that, I love that relationship. So you also, I'm, I'll bring it back to the question in a second, but I just, uh, you mentioned earlier, uh, something I totally forgot was that uh, Mark Hamill plays your father in the show. Yes. Um, did you have any interaction with him? Especially now that, you know, he's a hot topic, because Star Wars is back, but just, you know, is there uh, anything of note that... Oh, happened? yeah, for, of course, I mean, so the thing about Mark Hamill is, um, I mean, he's Luke Skywalker. <laughs> he's the Joker. Well, he's the Joker also, he's the Joker. And like now, like I've done, uh, so now, you know, it's cool to be like, um, like I know Mark Hamill, right? It's super cool, I was like at a party <laughs> recently. Another voice actor, a guy named Kevin Michael Richardson, who's done everything. Fantastic voice actor. Awesome, awesome guy, and a good buddy. So at his birthday party, he had, a, he had his birthday on this, he rented this big boat, like a big party boat, yacht thing. And it was literally like who's who in voice acting was on this boat, right? Everybody, like SpongeBob, Tom Kenny, to like John Nancy Cartwright, to DiMaggio, to, uh, you know, Dee Bradley, but everybody was on this freaking boat. Um, and Mark is there. And so Mark's like, Dante. And I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> I forget that. No, I forget that we're like our, I don't say we're friends, I don't know. We're being noticed, we're homies, I guess. But the thing about Mark, when I first met Mark, um, so in Avatar, usually we, we try to record as much as possible as we can together, um, just because it makes a better scene, you know, you're acting in the same room with each other, but sometimes it doesn't happen because, uh, because of everyone's schedules, we are doing different shows and traveling and doing whatever. So. Uh, so sometimes we, we record alone. So that day I was recording the whole episode alone. But then, I don't know if you guys remember the episodes, it's the, like the Agni Kai episode where Zuko gets a scar, right? And we're just learning about how this is working out until you know, the director, Andrea Ramon, was like, oh, your father is coming in to, be, to do the scene with you. And I go, okay. And then, I mean, I don't know how exactly it went down, but my memory was this. <laughs> like it was later at night, it was like raining outside, I think. <laughs> Could be fog in the room, I'm not Method. sure. But you know, a man walks in in like I swear he's wearing all black. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. It's like all black and like and he walks in the room and I'm like in my mind I'm like, that's Mark Hamill. <laughs> you know, but you're cool because you're working together, you know, you gotta be colleagues. He's like coming in and he's like Slowly walking down, oh my god, that's Mark Hamill, that's Mark Hamill, that's yeah. Mark Hamill. As soon as he opens the door, oh, hey, what's up, man? And I'm like, <laughs> so we just like look at each other, it's like, hello, you know? And then we go into the scene. And if you don't, if you recall the scene, is like we're fighting, it's like an Agni Kai situation. And uh, he's yelling at me, and I'm, I'm screaming the lines, like, Father, no, Father, no! You know, and we're like, it's going back and forth. It's like this really big, heavy duty action scene and emotional. And so we go through this whole thing. And, we're done, and we're, like, we're both spent, and then um, and then he leaves, right? <laughs> like the fog and everything leaves around. 
and then I'm just sitting in the chair like by myself in the sound studio, and then I realized that I just did the the Vader Luke scene. <laughs> Yeah, it was like literally I'm sitting there going, that was the most surreal moment of my life. Uh, I'll see you later. Oh my God. Yeah. And then, you know, later on in life, we did a show called Zero Three where he played the bad guy and I uh, played one of the heroes and I got to see him like, you know, weekly just kind of do his thing. He's so amazing, that crazy. I mean, he's the Joker that everyone is chasing. I mean, they're always, they always try to hire a new Joker, and it always comes back to Mark, and everyone's always trying to just kind of do Mark anyway, the audition, so. I mean, it's, it's, he's, a, he's, a, he's an amazing, amazing actor, guy. And his comic, his, his, you know, he's a comic head. Like, he's an OG Comic-Con guy. Like, his comic collection is hundreds of thousands of dollars. And so when you talk to him about comics, this dude is like, an encyclopedia. Like Luke Skywalker. Yeah. <laughs> and he's crazy. He's, he's like one of those guys. Think about Mark. When you, when you work with Mark, he uh, he reads the newspaper. The newspaper. <laughs> like full on the newspaper, right? And I'm like, but you know, but when you're in a sound booth, you can't make a lot of sound because and a newspaper is loud. But he's very Jedi about it. When you time, time to record, he's like, Shh. Like while he's voice acting? No, while he's saying lines? There's other people in the room, we're all acting, and he would like read the newspaper. <laughs> just be like, <laughs> but like, so silent when it's time to record, he makes, doesn't make a sound. And they'll come back out, and his fingers are all black from the newspaper. <laughs> I'm like, do you want an e-reader? <laughs> For anybody who doesn't know, a newspaper is a large stack of paper that comes yeah. out of Very thin paper. It has the news on it that's written up by journalists. Those exactly. are the people who find the news for you. And they put it all on a paper and they send it out everywhere. And totally. It's very loud. So he's a fascinating, fascinating guy. And he, you know, he tells the best stories. All right, so does, uh, 